Welcome to Psychology of the Daf. We are in Gemara Shabbos, Daf Kuf Nun Dalet. And in this Gemara, we find that Rabbah, one of the famous Amorayim, was uh, taking his young infant and rubbing the young infant against the uh, fur or the hair of the animal. And the Gemara raises a whole question of if animals are muksa, how could he do this? And they talk about how since it's on the side of the animal, that's considered permitted. Now, what was Rabbah actually doing? So Rashi tells us that he was doing this in order to soothe the child. Some other Rishonim, I believe, say that he was doing it to clean off the child. But according to Rashi, he was doing it to soothe the child. And we find in other places also, Rabbah seems to be a particularly doting father, which is interesting because Rabbah is also described as an intense masvid. In fact, the Gemar Bab Metziah on Daf Pei Vav Amad Aleph testifies that Rabbah never stopped learning, and even when it was time for the Malach Amavis, for the angel of death, to come and get him, he couldn't even get hold of him because he wasn't stopping learning even for a moment, and it was necessary to arrange for some kind of distraction in order for him to interrupt his learning for a moment, in order for the angel of death to grab hold of him. So Rabbah was this incredible masmid, and yet he also seems to be a very devoted, doting father. We find another fascinating Gemara about Rabbah and how he cared for his uh, children in Yoma, Daf Ein Chesma Beis, in Yoma and Ein Chesma Beis, amongst other child care practices that are being discussed, it's discussed that Rabbah would buy uh, uh, earthenware vessels for his young child at a certain age to smash them. And Rashi lets us know over there, lahafkir lo kalem l'shaber ulamalos tavoso, that he would give him kalem, presumably they were kalem that were inexpensive or that they were ready to be broken anyhow because they were old, I don't really know, but he would give him these kalem and let the child break the kalem in order to gratify his desire. Of course, um, the Kalta Litvaks in all of us would think this is a terrible thing that we're teaching a child to smash things and it's hefker and obviously everything in its right time and apparently there's a certain developmental stage it must be where the child is still quite young where the child needs to discharge aggression and feel power and Rabba was quite attuned to that so attuned he was that he bought Kalim specifically for this young child to smash. And while we can't exactly know the, the perfect age, and even if we knew exactly the perfect age that Rabba meant, maybe that was only for his child, or maybe that was only for children in those times. But what I find fascinating about these particular Gemaras is, one is that clearly, though Rabba was an incredible masmid, he was a doting father too, which is a powerful statement. And number two, there is a concept of a child's developmental cycle and that certain behaviors that ordinarily would be considered improper, uh, quite the contrary, not only should they not be suppressed, but they also should be indulged. So it wasn't just that Rabba was a masbid and spent quality time with his children, it's that Rabba was a masmid and was highly attuned to his children, a very high benchmark for all of us to try to achieve.